screen right here. You can't. You got to jam Jimmy Butler off of his spot here, so this player can get on the other side. Okay, you end up switching it as opposed to jamming Jimmy Butler through the cross screen, so he's catching this ball way too low. And now look, it's just one on one with Herder, and it's forget about it. It's going to end up being a two shot foul. Okay, if you're Trey Young, there is no ball screen getting set. If this player sets a screen and you want to switch, sure, but this player slips the screen, so you got to go with him. But look at this. Trey Young is going to attempt to switch. This player is going to backpedal uh, like he's going to switch. And what does that do? That just leaves Jimmy Butler open for three. All right, so you can't go under this screen. This is a ball screen. So right now, again, we've got a hedge, okay? The second this ball, hand, uh, the player coming off the screen hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, okay, uh, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which there's no space to do because the sideline's right there, I can recover. In the meantime, there's absolutely no place for this player to go. The backside helps standing and waiting, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But you just go under, and now it's a three-shot foul. We're going to double this strong side iso. You've got to rotate. Stop. Trey Young cannot be expected now to get out to his man, okay? This player's got to cheat up and rotate here. This player rotates here. This player rotates here. Trey Young falls here. Okay, but Trey Young's going to try and get out to his man, never happening. So now it's just a pump and go drive and a layup. You have to get out to your man once the dribble's picked up. Dribble's picked up. Let's get, see when this dribble gets picked up. Now, dribble's picked up. So sprint, sprint, sprint to the corner. Look at this player. This player isn't moving. Look at that slow reaction time. He hasn't even taken a step yet. and The ball's in the shooter's shot pocket. So it's a wide open three. You're in drop coverage, so you're giving up a two-on-one. This is so stupid. It's just an easy floater for P.J. Tucker. You know how we defend this. You get up and hedge. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, uh, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I can recover. In the meantime, I have backside help right here, but again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But nope, let's give up two-on-ones, and P.J. Tucker's wide open. No need to sag here. Look at this. Trey, look at where Trey Young is. Get up. Send this player this way. Trey Young can stunt without moving his feet, easily recover back out. But you don't send him into tr that gap help that Trey Young is sitting in, and now it's just an open jumper. Go in stupid drop coverage, so you give Kyle Lowry the lane and a two-on-one that forces help from somewhere else, so the corner's wide open for three. So again, let's take a look. Oh my God. All right, so we can hedge this screen. Okay, the second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big zip this way, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help right here. This player can occupy these heat players two passes away, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But now let's give Kyle Lowry the lane at two on one, and now it's just a disaster because the defense collapses in an open three. Drop coverage that creates a two on one, so now this big's wide open and just gets right into the lane for a little hook shot. So stop running this. How about maybe uh, hedge? Second, this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip this way. I can recover. In the meantime, backside help from right here. This player can occupy these heat players two passes away, but I'm going to be able to recover quickly and bump you back over. But instead, you're just giving up a two-on-one, and I mean, how easy does this need to get over and over again? have to be seeing the ball and your man at all times. You can't take your eye off either for more than a second. When you do, this happens. Look at this. Now this player's going to cut. You're here. He's got you beat because you fell asleep for more than a second on your man, and now it's an open three. Strong side ISO with Jimmy Butler. You got to bring a double team right here. This is so, These are so easy to double team, you might as well. Get up, force Jimmy Butler this way. There's no place to go. Now this player rotates here. This player's up the line, rotates here. This player rotates here. This player finally goes to this last heat player in the corner. All of those rotations happen in unison on the first kickout pass. But Jimmy Butler's going to, you're not going to send a double team. Jimmy Butler's going to beat his man baseline, and it's an and one. Again, you're in drop coverage. This is a great jump shooter here in Tyler Hero. It's just a, I mean, you're giving him wide open looks. So again, look at how easy this is to hedge. Why is this easy to hedge? Because where's this player going? The backside defender for Atlanta is right here. Now, again, the second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big hip, I can recover anyways and bump you back uh, the one step that you have to take to get in backside help. 
But instead of just easily hedging this, you give up a wide open jumper for no reason. Why are you letting Jimmy Butler beat you this way? All that's going to do is force this defender to have to step up, and now this player is going to be wide open. Look at this. This defender has to step up because you gave him that, and now it's just right to the rim and an and one. So again, we can double this if we really want to, okay? If you can't defend Jimmy Butler one-on-one, -on -one, then flip your hips this way, double. He comes here, and you're forcing him here. This player's way up the line at that point, and then uh, r rotates out here. This player rotates here. This player immediately flies to the corner. All of those things happen in unison on the first kickout pass. But just giving Jimmy Butler this area here, forcing a second defender, well, now you got an and one. Don't go over the top of this handoff, okay? Dribble handoff, stop. You're going under, you're going right through, and you're meeting this player on the other side, okay? You go over the top of this handoff, this happens. Don't lean towards the screen. Make this player use the screen. You're leaning towards the screen. So now look, now this player is going to refuse it, get into the lane. The defense has to collapse. Jimmy Butler's wide open, and it's eventually a, a layup. You've got to communicate and transition. Okay, stop. Who's got the ball? Does this player have the ball? Then you are going here. Uh, does this player have the ball? Then you're going here. When you don't communicate, two people are guarding the ball. Now nobody's guarding Duncan Robinson, so it's a pump-and-go drive. The defense collapses wide open, Kyle Lowry 3. Never guard past the three-point line away from the ball, okay? Stay here. Your man's out here. Who cares? Okay, stop. Ball comes here. This player needs to move in a hair back to the baseline. So now this player can get up and send this player this way. There's no place to go. Stunt. I don't have to move my feet. Recover. But instead, you don't send this player into the gap. Uh, that player doesn't stay in the gap anyways, and it's a two-shot foul. Trey Young, you've got to sprint back. We need you as an extra number uh, in transition on defense. You cannot go this way. Okay, look at this. So Trey Young, where does he go? He goes that way. So now look, instead of having an extra number back on defense, who, you know, your Trey Young's man is here. Trey Young's back here. We just have a sec, another, an extra defender who can now double the ball. But instead, you're nowhere to be found. And now Bam Adebayo takes it to the rim and draws a two-shot foul. Why is this player here slowing down in transition? Again, there's no such thing as jogging in transition. You sprint and sprint and sprint and sprint. Instead, this player is jogging, looking for the ball. Now he has no idea where to go. And now this player is wide open for a layup because you didn't sprint back. You're switching a ball screen. You cannot be not level to your man. This separation doesn't work. You've got to get up. Level to your man and ready to guard. Instead, you just give up a wide open three. Got to stay level to your man. You're level to your man here. You've got to stay level to him, though, as he lifts. Look, look at Kyle Lowry lift. Are you level to your man now? No. So now Kyle Lowry catches it. Open three. Doesn't get any more basic than this. Here comes a down screen. You got to get attached to your man. You got to get your arms out so this player cannot curl. He has to go out a little bit, and that allows this player to chase. When you don't, I mean, look where this player is. When you don't get your arms out, this player curls, and it's to a wide open three. Trey Young gamble here is what's going to kill everything. Trey Young just needs to get back to his man here. Look at this. Look at this horrendous gamble. So now this player can get it, go right into the lane, draw help, wide open corner three. And doesn't get any more basic than this. Down screen. Your man is clearly setting a down screen, so you need to get attached. Okay, and then look, when this player comes off the screen, I'm attached and my arms are out. So this player has to go out and I can chase. Instead, you don't get your arms out, so now this player can curl. And now look, now he draws help, and B.J. Tucker's wide open in the corner for three. Okay, we got a botch switch. You got to communicate this. I don't know where the miscommunication is, but we get two players here going towards one. No one's taking P.J. Tucker. So uh, this player is going to switch way too late, wide open, corner three. Okay, what is this player doing right here? Okay, this pass gets made to Jimmy Butler. Why are you, what is that move out? Why are you going out this way? So now Jimmy Butler's just going to rip and go, blow by you, and it's a dunk. Can't go under the screen. Trey Young has no chance to get on the other side, so Kyle Lowry's right in the lane. It's another P.J. Tucker corner three. So again, let's take a look. Please hedge, all right? Get out, 
Caught Kyle Lowry's dribble off here. Second, he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this big hip this way, which isn't going to be for very long because the sideline's right there. Okay, I can recover. In the meantime, I have backside help standing and waiting. But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways. Okay, so instead you go under, you just get destroyed, and it's a wide open corner three again. Double teaming the post is just fine. Triple teaming the post, this is almost a quadruple team of the post. So how many Heat players can be wide open at once? That is insane. So it's Jimmy Butler that gets the and one here. Why are you in drop coverage here? You just create a two-on-one, and again, P.J. Tucker's wide open, and it's a little floater. Let's take a look right now. At what's, oh, my God, is this easy to edge. The sideline is right here. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to be in like a tenth of a second with the sideline right there, I can recover. In the meantime, I do need backside help for like a tenth of a second. But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But instead, you're in drop coverage, creates a two-on-one, and how easy. What are you doing about this ball screen? You're just going to let Tyler Hero have a wide-open jumper. That's nice. Okay, so let's actually take a look at how you get a stop off of this. Again, you're hedging. You're getting Tyler Hero out of here. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Does anything other than attack off of this big's hip? I can recover. In the meantime, the backside help does not have to move much at all. Okay, but I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. Instead, now nah, let's just give Tyler Hero a wide open jumper. Cannot take your eye off the ball or your man for more than a second. You've got to be seeing both at all times. This player totally falls asleep on his man, and look, now Kyle Lowry's there. It's just a pump fake and go drive and an easy little jumper. You cannot take your eye off your man for more than a second. Watch this defender here. Watch him fall asleep. Okay, he takes his eye off his man. Uh, wide open three. Terribly late switch. Come on, where's the communication? Where? There's, I don't know where the miscommunication is, but it's there because look at how long it takes for this player to switch back. Yeah, uh, a little late. Not go under a ball screen with Duncan Robinson coming off of it, okay? So let's see how we we got to work this. All right, stop. You got you got to go over the top. And again, look at how easy this is to hedge. Please, look at how the sideline's right here. The second Duncan Robinson hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, with the sideline being right there, that's going to be in less than a second. Okay, I can recover back to my man. I guess in the meantime, I need backside help, but like in less than a second, you're back here. But instead, Duncan Robinson's wide open for three. How on earth is this player going to fall asleep on his man like this? Are you kidding me? Look at this. What is going on? Your man is now here, and you're here. So yeah, of course you give up a wide open three. When you go under this dribble handoff, you got to be cautious here. Stop. Right now, okay, up and guard the ball, okay? Where is this player going? You're going, you're, this is what you're supposed to do. You go through the dribble handoff, but look at this. Wh why is this player, where is he going? Why is he not just going through the dribble handoff, stopping and guarding his man one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Um, but instead, you're all the way out here, and now you give up. An open three, that's an and one. You have to sprint back in transition. You cannot backpedal or jog. Look at this player. Jogging, backpedaling. Now Jimmy Butler just rips and goes right into the lane. Two shot foul. You cannot get beat baseline here. You've got to send Jimmy Butler this way. This player can get over a little and get into the gap. Stunt, recover. You get beat baseline, you have no help whatsoever. So Jimmy Butler's just going to blow by in a layup. There cannot be this much separation between you and your... Look at this. Are you kidding me? So now you have no chance. This dribble handoff happens. Forget about it. Open three. Wrong side ISO. These are so easy to double team. You might as well do it anyways. Jimmy Butler right here. You're coming over to double. This player's up the line. You're going to send him into a double team. This player rotates here. This player's up the line, rotates here. This player rotates here. And the man that doubles just falls here. All those rotations happen in unison on the first kickout pass. But instead, you just let Jimmy Butler go one-on-one -on -one and take a step-back jumper. You've got to get up and angle your man this way. Okay, first of all, this player can never guard like this with his back to the ball. He's got to have his back to the baseline as his man cuts as his man cuts through. But you've got to get up and make sure this player goes here, where there's nothing but traffic. 
Instead, you're going to get beat away from any of that traffic, and this player gets right to the rim for a lob. Here's your stupid drop coverage. You give up a two-on-one, easy lob. So how do we actually get a stop out of this instead of running idiotic ball screen defenses like that? Up, hedge, push this guard out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Does anything other than attack off of this big's hip? Okay, I can recover. In the meantime, I have backside help right here. Okay, um, but again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But instead, you're giving up two-on-ones and lobs. Can't switch a ball screen over the top. Stop. You want to switch the screen? Get under this player. Okay, you switch over the top, and you allow this to happen. This player is able to get wide open, right to the rim, two-shot foul. Again, stupid drop coverage. Again, a two-on-one. Again, an alley-oop. So let's take a look here. All right, let's get up. Let's push this guard out. Okay, the second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, which just pushes him further away from the play, I might add. Okay, I can recover. In the meantime, I have backside help coming right here. If this player tries to throw a skip pass all the way here, I can easily recover. But again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. Instead, nope. Let's run drop. Let's give up a two-on-one and a lob again. When you get this rebound, you got to keep the ball high. Okay, look at this player gets her stop. Keep the ball high. When you bring the ball low, you allow people to swipe at it. And look what happens. Swipe, steal, layup.